Welcome back. In the previous video, we were able to set our TypeScript boilerplate using Create React App. In this video, we are finally going to start creating our Pokédex application and also style it as well. We are going to go through the React components very quickly because I know that you are an expert by now in creating static React components. But we are going to pay a little bit more attention to styling because I want you to understand the usage of Flexbox in this application. All right, so let's get started. Before we go further, you can go to Google Fonts and search for press start P2 font. So this is a font very similar to the old Pokemon fonts that we used to see in those games on Nintendo DS and all. I don't know whether it's the same one or not but it's quite similar so we are going to use this font in our pokedex application so let's quickly select this style and quickly copy this so i have this copied already for you and i'll mention it in the description of this video so all we need to do is we need to copy this and we need to go to our html file index.html and here we need to add a link to the style sheet so we are going to put inside the href the link or the url to that particular font that's it and now we can start using that font that's it for that and now after that we are not going to touch our index.html just one more thing let's change the name the title to pokedex application that's it that's it for this one and now let's close this one and now let's start creating our pokedex component let's create a new folder by now i think that you are an expert at uh, making the file structure the folder structure and so on so let's create a new file pokedox pokedex.tsx not jsx because you know we are using typescript we are not using javascript in this project <coughs> All right, so let's also create pokedex.css as well. So now we have our pokedex.tsx, which is going to contain the React component open at the left and pokedex.css, which is going to contain the styles at the right. That's it. Let's quickly import React from React and let's create our functional component for pokedex. And I am going to, don't worry about the concepts of uh, TypeScript till now. Right now, it's exactly the same as JavaScript at this moment, and we are just focusing on creating our static components and static files. As simple as that. Nothing much, nothing difficult here. Awesome. So, as you remember in this one, uh, let's go back to the React component diagram. So, as you know, here we have two things. At the left, we have the list of Pokemon and at the right we have the search result of the Pokemon. So let's create two sections in our div. So I'm focusing a little bit more on the HTML and CSS part here, but I won't do that from the next project onwards because this is super simple and I, I really hope that you guys don't need my help on this one right now, at least after this, after this um, project. So what I'm doing here is I am creating a Pokédex container inside which I am creating at the left side there will be a Poké list container and at the right side there is going to be a Poké search result container. So that's going to contain our Poké search result element. So for now let's just do one thing let's add a p tag where I'll say a list of Pokémon. Mm, the spelling is wrong but don't worry about the spelling. The concepts are more important than spellings. Don't you agree on this? I hope you agree on this. So Poké search results. This is super simple. And let's do one more thing. Let's import our style sheet as well. Pokédex.css here. Awesome. And now let's start using this just below our Pokédex. Also, did we style our app.css? No, we did not style our app.css last time. So let's do it this time. Let's give it a class name of app. And uh, let's have an h1 tag here which says Pokédex. And also, let's do one thing. Let's import our Pokédex from here. It is very, very simple. 
Awesome. Now it's very easy and we already have the app.css imported here. Let's add the stylings in the app.css as well. So first of all, let me change the background color a little bit. I am going to use this color combination, which I took from the website called colorhunt.co, which provides a lot of color combinations, which is super cool. So I'm going to have a dark text color and a light background color. So as you can see, this is going to look awesome, uh, at least at least good, at least not bad. And then let's also style our app. This is going to be very, very simple. We are just going to center align our text. So very easy. I hope you're understanding. I'm going to explain each and every style that I'm going to make here in this project because I want you to be clear with the CSS and HTML part because that's the basics, right? If you, you won't be able to make web pages if you don't know the uh, basics HTML and CSS. Awesome. So till now in the H1, we decided to have a font size of 57 pixels and a font family of something that we imported just now. Press start 2P and it's going to be cursive. Awesome. So now that that's that and this is here. Let's see if it's working. Let's go here and yes, perfect. It imported the styles, it imported the fonts family correctly, it imported the background color perfectly. This is super cool, I'm so excited. Awesome, so now let's quickly style our pokedex.css, pokedex, um, pokedex component as well. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first of all, let's copy and paste to make this a little bit more fast. And now, first of all, let's provide it a background color. Again, I have taken these color combinations from colorhunt.co. For those who are asking, how do I find out such good, amazing color combinations? It's very difficult to find out the color combinations. I do it from uh, colorhunt.co. Awesome. So now we need to center align our Pokédex application. So here we have multiple options. One option could be to make the app component, which is the parent component as a flex uh, display flex and inside that I can align or uh, justify my content as center but since I noticed that I, I need 70% of the width and I need that fixed width on every screen so if I have a fixed width then probably um, I can have a margin left of 15% so that's very simple because the total width of the screen is 100% so width of our component is 70% and then 70 minus 100 minus 70 leads to 30. So I want to di di uh, divide 30 into two, uh, one part which will be the left, one part which will be at the right. So 15% margin left, 70% width, and 15% margin right. That solves our issue. And let's also provide it a min height of at least 500 pixels or maybe 475 pixels. That seems to be quite good enough let's make it a display flex to align our flex children properly and let's also wrap the content because i don't want the content to flow out of my uh, pokedex container and finally let's provide it a border radius of 12 pixels let's see how it looks like it looks awesome so now as you can see we are reaching quite close to this thing awesome so now that we have that let's also uh, give the styles to the individual children to the individual children components awesome so let's give it a fixed width of let's say uh, 300 pixels that seems fine and um, let's do one thing so since we want um, let's let's go over it one by one since we want first of all this this part should be scrollable in the y-axis so first of all let's keep an overflow by to be scroll overflow while scroll i hope you are understanding this one very simple let's provide a background color uh, let's say rgba i am going to keep it an alpha value as well 252 126 uh, 47 and 0 0.6 that should be good enough very good and now since we have a width here let's also provide a height of 455 pixels because you know the main height of that is 475 let's uh, keep 10 pixels at the top 10 at the bottom and then let's keep the fixed height to be 455 but in case of mobile screen our pokey search result is going to drop down so that's why we have not uh, assigned the value of height to be 475 but a min height to be 475 i hope you got the point it's min height not height here 
very good let's provide a margin of uh, let's say 10 pixels at all sides and let's also provide a flex grow of 3 because I want uh, this thing to grow thrice as fast as the pokey search result because as you can see here um, as you can see these two are not equal and they should not be equal because uh, this should occupy much more space than the result result is very simple right the result is a small area only so that's why this is a little bit bigger so I'm giving it three you can give it as per your choice and I think that's cool let's also provide some border radius very quickly uh, let's provide 10 pixels one pixel one pixel 10 pixel why I'm doing this you're going to see very quickly let's see it because I did not want 12 10 pixel on all the sides that's why I did 10 pixel on these two sides and a little bit less on here very very cool so now we are done with the styling of pokey list container and let's also finally style our pokey search result container did I type it correctly I don't have enough confidence on my typing so I'm just going to copy and paste this from here uh, that's cool uh, that does not matter cool so now let's keep a display of flex in the pokey search result and align items uh, to be center why because of course I want to align the elements inside this vertically center cool now let's give it a width of around 300 pixels same so as you can see I'm setting initial width in both of them as the same 300 300 but what I'm doing here is I am making it grow thrice as fast as this one so let's assign a flex grow of one here cool let's provide the margin to be 10 pixels same uh, let's provide the same background color I think the background color should be same it will look good uh, let's also provide the height um, 455 again and finally let's provide a border radius of one pixels as you can see now we need to provide that the less radius at the opposite ends so what I'm going to do is one pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel and one pixel that seems to be quite good enough and we have a very very good result here this looks very awesome so let's end this video here it, it's already been around more than 10 minutes so let's end this video here and let's start creating another component in the next video see you in the next video take care bye bye